Net present value is a core component of capital budgeting and is a comprehensive way to determine whether a proposed project will add value or not. When we think about a uh, capital expenditure or a project, we always have an initial outlay. That's the upfront expense to build the factory to do the project. And then, of course, we estimate, well, what are our after-tax cash flows in year one, year two, and so on. Now, the devil's in the details. If we uh, have poor estimations of the after-tax cash flows, then that will affect, of course, our net present value, but that's a subject for a different day. So what are we actually doing to get to the answer of how we can build this in Excel? We're taking each cash flow and we're discounting it by the cost of capital raised to the number of years. So if we click on the present value of the first year's cash flow and we hit F2, we can see that we are taking the cash flow, dividing it by the cost of capital raised to year one. And likewise, same thing, year two, same thing, year three. Now, when we sum up all of these after-tax cash flows that have been discounted, then we get the uh, sum of the present values, and we can offset that by the amount that we spent in the first place and get the net present value. Now, this is the preferred way to do it because breaking out each line item bit by bit, A, means that the formulas are auditable in case we make a mistake, B, if we change an assumption, that's easy to update the model. And C, the train of thought is clear. Financial modeling best practices dictate that you should always have uh, clarity over brevity. Now, if we were to insist upon putting this all in one line item, which we don't recommend, Excel does include a built-in NPV formula, which is the NPV of the cash flows but what is a common mistake is people will take these MPVs, take the cash flows, and then get an error. And that is because you have to remember that you need to add back the initial outlay. And when we do that, we can see that these numbers end up matching. So a common error when using the built-in Excel formula is people forget to add back in the initial outlay. And you'll see that if we were to try to create this formula the same way, without adding back in that initial outlay, we would get an error, too few arguments. So that is how you create a net present value in Excel. To recap, you put your initial outlay, your after-tax cash flows, you discount each after-tax cash flow by the weighted average cost of capital raised to the period. You sum up the present values, you subtract the initial outlay, and you get the net present value.